So in today's vlog, we're talking about turning up. This pretty much applies to anything in life. If you want to do something and you want to succeed in it, you have to turn up. So there's some famous writer whose name I can't remember, my girlfriend would instantly know who it is. But when he talks about writing and people say, well, how do you find inspiration? How do you, you know, get yourself in the right mood to write? His response was, I don't, I just turn up every day and from nine to five, I write. It's not pleasurable, it's not always pleasant, but this is what I do from nine to five in order to be a successful author. Now this is very true for photography as well. And today's Friday, I have absolutely nothing that I have to do. There's no shoot coming up, there's no shoot deadline. I've ticked off everything on my to-do list, kind of. I have two to-do lists, so this must be done and should probably do this, but until someone complains, don't worry about it. But the big one's done. So I could be in a cafe, I could be relaxing, I could be at an art gallery, but instead I'm turning up, I'm being consistent, and I'm continuing with my work. So today I'm gonna to go through what I sort of get up to when there's nothing else to do, but that I'm still trying to push myself forward. And one of those things is recording this video. So on today's agenda, I'm gonna build this background, which I've obviously already built because I'm filming in front of it, but I do this last in the vlog, I do, anyway, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna show you what I get up to on a day like today. Now there is actually one thing that I do have to do today and that's clear the whole studio because it's a bomb site. But apart from that, it's just being productive, proactive and turning up. And doing this here, this is part of turning up. I've got six articles I'm gonna write for F-stoppers. That is also turning up. They're not going to be groundbreaking pieces, or they might be, I don't know, but they're probably not. This video here is nothing special. It's not going to win an award. I've got a cheap shotgun mic up here, which is probably getting a load of noise coming into it. I've got one LED light over here and a camera that's been stuck on a tripod for the last six months. There's no real thought that's gone into this, but I'm turning up and I'm being consistent. And in being consistent, you have more chance of succeeding. So this might not be my best of a video. It definitely won't be my best of a video because it's one of my first videos, but it's a foundation to build upon. You can't make your best work until you've gone through all the horrendous work. I probably shot for eight years before I took a good photograph. But if I didn't do those eight years of turning up and consistently churning out trash, I'd have never got to the good photographs. So that's what we're doing today. So first up, I'm gonna build the set behind me, which is obviously already built. Then I'm gonna go and build some backgrounds, some only background shop, which is going live on the 1st of December, which is a shameless plug, but it's a year and a half behind schedule, so I feel that I can. And then I'm gonna get on with some content creation, send some emails out, talk to some stylists about some test shoots that I want to do, and just generally be proactive. Let's do it. So I've got my background done, just sitting, looking at the screen from the one looking over here, because I can't work out my arms. There we go, over here. Pretty chuffed for that, didn't think it was gonna work. Thought it might look awful, looks great. Who knew? This is the only thing that has to be done today. This place here is a bomb site. I have got to tidy up the entire studio before my workshop tomorrow. Once that's done, we're gonna crack on with some cool stuff. So as you're probably aware, I've started a background business. And one of the things I don't need to do is make more backgrounds. I've got loads of backgrounds. There's loads of them out there to be sold, but today I'm going to make a new one. Not because I need to, not because there's any drive to do so, but sometimes you just have to do something. And this is my first like productive task of the day, trying to get something done, do something, and just keep, you know, just chipping away at life. So because I reproduce my backgrounds, I don't need to make them too big. So I'm gonna set up here, get myself cracking. And as you can see, I've been making a lot of blue, whitey, gray colored ones recently, but today we're gonna go for something a little bit different. And then once I've done that, we're gonna get onto the next task, which is portfolio work. So we're just getting towards the end of Friday. The studio is tidied. The high pitched voice is because it's not really tidy. I've got to find places for these massive boxes. I've got another load of them hiding in someone else's units at the moment. 
but I'm drowning in kit. I need more space, but that, that's another issue. But we're all good for tomorrow's workshop now. The background is built. I'm just gonna quickly show you how I did it. So painting wise, I ended up using a sea sponge and dabbing it on to get a nice bit of texture rather than that straight painty sort of clinical look, which might as well be a paper roll. And as we come around the back here, it's a very basic structure. I bought three pieces of this, which is like a thin plank of wood. You can tell I'm not very techy. And then I laid out the big struts on top of it, drilled them in, cut them all to size, and that was it. Simple as that, nothing fancy at all. They've been living behind the settee in the studio for the last few weeks. And all I've gone to do to put it sort of together is I've put some super clamps at the top, coming down to boom arms, and then I've just sandbagged them to high heaven. And then I'll just use some of these, I don't really call these really, clamps, just to hold it all together because the wood bows quite a lot and straight cut pieces of wood are never as straight as you think they are. But there we go, it's a pretty simple build. You could do this obviously to scale, so if you don't have the space, or if you're doing it for a food shoot, you could just half the size of it and have it in your house. But I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. And this is all set for tomorrow's lighting workshop. So I'm still on the move over to Capture One. This is just currently building a catalog per hard drive. It's got 65 hours left to finish importing this one. It's, it's, a big, it's a big hard drive. I think it's a four or six terabyte drive. This is drive number 16 that's going on at the moment. You can see they're all sort of racked up here and good to go for the next lot to go on. That's a creaky chair, isn't it? There we go. So you can see they're all racked up here. They're coming down to here. And this is just the monitor that I'm using to, to monitor with. Anyway, to the portfolio. Now, I've not added anything to my portfolio. It's pretty easy to add photos to a portfolio. What I've done is deleted photos. I've deleted 10 food photos and 10 portraits. Frame rates all over the shop, there we go. And now we're in a Christmassy jumper, it's not Christmas, it's just the warmest thing in the studio I could find. And it's freezing in here right now. It does fr the car was frozen so much this morning that I couldn't open the doors. The doors are like frozen shut. It's not a good day to be in a warehouse. Anyway, to the portfolios. So I've been deleting images. I've done nothing to my portfolio for maybe a year, maybe more. And it's really important to remove bad content. You're more likely to not get the job because you've got bad content than that your good content is not good enough, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do this exercise again in another week. And then I'm gonna bring in my new work and build my new portfolios. Then with my credentials document, I'm gonna go for a bit of a marketing push and try and make some connections with some new agencies, some new directors, some new art buyers, and to see where it leads. I'm gonna do a video on everything I do, how I do it. I'm also gonna show you the results I get just for a bit of a reality check really, because I'm probably gonna contact a couple of hundred people. I'll be surprised if one gets back to me, but do subscribe if you wanna see that because you'll get to see how bad I am at marketing. Anyway, going forward, the portfolio is something I need to work on. I've let my website slip. I've not done a blog post for a couple of years. There's been too many other things going on and I've had enough work to sort of not justify spending the time on it, but now is the time to do it. I'm coming up to Christmas. Work's gonna be dropping off. I'm gonna have some free time. So I'm just gonna plow into that. And I'm gonna keep everyone updated on what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and also make some how-to videos to sort of help you guys along the way as well. So all that's left to do for this week or for today at least, I'm back in at the weekend, so pack down, turn everything off, make sure it's all safe, bang my kit in the car and head home.